Welcome to another episode of Quick and Easy, a series on the EasyMed YouTube channel where medical topics are discussed in a couple minutes. Today you're going to learn a simple trick that will help you remember the cardinal features of melanoma. Just a reminder that if you like the video and want to see more in the future, consider hitting that subscribe button. So what is melanoma? Melanoma is a type of skin cancer that involves the melanocytes, which are the pigment producing cells that determine our hair color and skin color. Whenever there is a collection of melanocytes, then a classic mole can form. Most moles are benign and we don't have to worry about them, but there are some classic cardinal features to look out for because if we notice them, this could be worrisome for malignancy. And these five cardinal features can be remembered using the alphabet method. Starting with A, that stands for asymmetry. So rather than having a nice lesion that's perfectly shaped or perfectly circular, there's gonna be some asymmetry involved. Imagine drawing a line straight through the lesion and folding one end over the other. You can see on the image on the left that they would line up fairly well. However, on the right, there would be some asymmetry and that could indicate melanoma. B stands for border. So rather than having a nice smooth border, there's gonna be some irregularity to it. And that could also indicate melanoma. C stands for color. So rather than having a nice uniform color throughout the lesion, there's gonna be some color variation and this can be concerning. D stands for diameter. The number to remember here is greater than six millimeters, which is about the size of a pencil eraser. Lesions that are larger than this can also be concerning. Finally, E stands for elevation or enlargement. So rather than having a lesion that's nice and flush with the skin, there's gonna be some elevation involved and this is a cardinal feature to melanoma. We're gonna wrap this up with five quick facts that you should know for exams and for practical use. Melanoma makes up about 1% of total skin cancers, but if you look at the mortality from skin cancer, about 60% of them are from melanoma. If you're ever asked about risk factors, the number one most significant risk factor is a primary relative with melanoma. Now, how do you diagnose it? Well, usually the patient is referred to a dermatologist and a biopsy is performed, and this is sent for pathological review. The prognosis is determined by the depth of the lesion and the presence or abscess of metastatic disease. Lastly, treatment will involve resection, chemotherapy, and or radiation. I hope you found this video useful, especially the ABCDE method that can be applied practically and on exams. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you found the video useful and you want to catch future videos. There's a lot more EasyMed content coming out in the near future that's going to provide you with mnemonics, tricks, and strategies to make medicine easy. I've also attached the EasyMed blog that correlates with this video down below in the description, so feel free to go check that out. Thanks for watching, and I hope you check out future videos.